It's nothing important, just a silly little World Cup. Peace and love, brother, that's what matters. Take a chill pill, Mac, and stay cool, man. Stay cool, man? What the devil are you blathering on about, lad? Have you blown your circuits or something? And what are you wearing? It looks like you, you've been to Hawaii. I'm dressed for my report of the 60s, Mac. Flower power, peace and love, brother. Tune in, turn out and drop off. It's the summer of love. Ban the bomb, ban the bomb, ban the bomb. Yeah! Be careful, Mac. Whoa. Ah. Looks like peace and love can be rather painful, huh? Oh. oh! Ambushed by an armchair! That sign rings a bell. I remember all those protest marches in the 60s. My cousin, Mac Cartney, experienced that particular artistic revolution first hand. He was a great music fan, you know. In fact, he was no mean musician himself. Hey, a real-life musician in your family, Mac. What do you do? Play the referee's whistle or something? <laughs> no, laddie, but since you ask, he did referee a very complicated game where he set the standards for the player's equipment and difficult well, task. Ah, what are we waiting for? Let's get back to the revolutionary 60s. Well, our first stop is out of space, where the Americans and Russians are competing to send the first spaceship to the moon. Hey, we were here for you, but the moon is our moon. moon. Some say that the first thing man did on arrival in 1969 was relax with his favorite activity. Houston, go ahead. Mission accomplished. We beat him to it. This is just one small step for a man, but one giant leap for... Hey, wait a minute. It can't be. Those are footprints of, of football boots. Looks like they beat us to it. Can we have that ball ski back, Yankee? Houston, you have a problem. <laughs> Come in, Apollo. Come in. What's happening up there, Neil? Talk to us. The Russians beating us to it or what? What's going on up there? What a shot! That won't stop till it reaches Alpha Centauri! You may have got there first, Yankee, but the first goal on the moon was scored by us. <laughs> and another thing, there is no national identity here on the moon. We do not recognize international boundaries. The fair play flag will fly instead. Yes, it really was a giant leap forwards. Mankind had discovered he could reach new planets where football could be played in the future. But the 60s also brought with them various social and cultural phenomena. For example, spy films were very popular at the movies. Ooh, sounds pop cool, but people don't go on a berry. Such films also <laughs> promoted new fashion ideas. Yes, sir. Relax and... Ah, massive microphone! Shark! That girl's in danger, Mac! Shark! Oh, somebody help me! Ah! Ah! Oh, the no! secret agent would always save the day using a combination of ingenuity and an unlimited supply of okay. ingenious little gadgets. All right, fish. There. You're safe now. Ah, hungry fang. <laughs> oh, no, no! Look who's coming to dinner! Don't worry, miss. Now, hold on! Oh. My hero, you saved me! How can I ever thank you? Ah, uh, the oh, name's but... Bond Bond. James Bond Bond, actually. I'm Keeney. Baby Keeney. The bikini caused a sensation. That new bathing suit looks fantastic on you, Baby Keeney. Did you say bikini? 
Huh? So that's called a bikini. Well, it's very flattering, I must say. Oh, Where did you get well, it, my dear? I got it in the water. Well, I want one just like it. Do you hear me? Uh, are you listening, Manfred? I'm listening, and so are the sharks. <laughs> But it was music that had the biggest impact in the 60s, with the appearance of many new and diverse styles. Outside the area, a never a penalty. I'm an innocent defender and already on a yellow card. All right, fellas, come on. One, a two, a three, four. Come on, everyone, get off your seat, get on your feet. Let's rock the joint. Some people are just so thick-skinned, they don't understand the sensitivity of an artist, you know. Ah, Ladies and gentlemen, the Savage Rockers with John Lemon and Juan Babalu. Luba on vocal. With, with Rockabilly on drum. Tutti yeah. uh, uh, Frutti or Rudy on keyboard. Ow! Oh, oh, what a way to play! Oh! Yeah. Well, that is a hot little number, but a little too hot for this microphone. Yeah. And on rhythm and lead guitar, respectively, twist again, together with the indisputable leader of the band, Frankie Hurricane, ex-member hey. of Frankie and the Apollons. Hey, rockin' again? Well, if I can't play guitar, I'll play the drums. Right. <laughs> Come on, Rockabilly, move over. This is rock and roll, man. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on! Yeah. Come on. <laughs> We're too modern for this crowd, Billy. We're way ahead of ourselves. We're the future. What, heavy metal came out in the 60s? That wasn't heavy metal, Mick. Yeah. The great musical phenomenon of the 60s was rock. Although some groups, as you can see, prized enthusiasm above actual musical ability. Leave it alone, Frankie. Oh. I've got this new guitar. So I get to destroy it! Come on, twist again! That's what you did last summer. In fact, come to think of it, that's what you did last year and all! They say music sues a savage beast, so let's see if it's true like. Are you ready, McCartney? Two minutes! You are! Hey! The twist soon became the most popular dance of the decade. Help! Hey, get off me shirt! Help, I need somebody! Woo! Strange sound, but the girls seem to like it. That John Lemon is going to be a big hit. Then, into an age made dull and grey by war and economic crisis, came a group of hippies, <laughs> spreading the message of peace and love. And whether you believed in the message or not, it was clear they were going to add a bit of colour to everyday life. Oh, just look at you. I wish you'd start dressing a little more trendily. It is the 1960s, after all. A little more colourfully, perhaps. Well, thanks very much. I hope you're happy now. Gary! <laughs> Gary likes bright colour! Gary likes me! But above all, the hippies were great lovers of flowers. Flower power, they called it. Oh, peace and love, eh? Aye, the hippies were dedicated to peace and harmony and love. You all right in there, Petal? Oh, well, now at least I know why gentlemen prefer blondes. Oh. <laughs> Here they are at last. I wonder what they look like. Wow, get a load of the gear. This wall looks really sad, man. Bad karma. Huh? What are you doing? Come on, I don't want to be a psychedelic microphone. Welcome, everybody. What do we call you? I'm Obladu. I'm Obladonk. Obladu, Obladonk. Yes, we will. Uh, no, we won't. Peace, everybody. I'm Good Roll Jim. Now, if we're all going to share the same air here, and we are, then we should share our flowers, too. Ban the bomb. Peace. Just love, man. No more fighting. Come on, Herman. You gotta be more sociable. Get on down here. Come on. Leave me in peace, man. I don't want to see anyone. This is Herman, everyone. We all call him Herman the Hermit because he loves being on his own. I've seen some strange things in this series, but this lot take the cake. All we need now is a multicolored woman. Ah! Me and my big mouth. What we want is equality for women. My name's Peggy Sue, and this is Guri. He's a very peace-loving child. Gary Hippie! Gary like peace and love! Far out. I don't know why, but I don't quite believe that, kid. Yay! Gary like chocolate! Does man want some? Gary let man have chocolate! It takes more than ice cream to nourish the soul, man, if you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you have to taste ice cream to see if you like it! Gary like it! Told you! Gary like 
told you, this child does not come in peace. <laughs> love and peace, everyone. My name is Joe Nirvana. We're here to spread the message of love. Yeah, people, we're going to change things around here. We're going to bring peace, nature, love and harmony to all the brothers and sisters. I thought you were painting the town. Of course. <laughs> but first, we're going to spread a little harmony with this game you play around here. Where's your team, man? Come on, let's set things up, huh? Come on, let's get it on. Football? I don't know. It's years since we had a team around here. An will pound, but I've got a rehearsal to go to. I've got an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a try. Wait here for me, boys. I'll be back soon. And I'll have a football team with me. Don't say he's gonna... Aye, he's going to ask the Savage Rockers, fresh from their new hit, Tackle from Behind. Stop a minute. How would you like to win a gold ball? Or even a platinum one. How'd you like that? You mean Summer would give us trophies? Trophies for smashing and destroying, so when do we play the concert then, eh? Savage Rocker Football Club, eh? I like the sound of that. It sounds bad, man. Does that mean we'll be famous? Lots of aye? people will come and see us. Aye, aye. Right, you got yourselves a game. Finally, I get to sing all alone. Let's hey. do it. A one, two, three, four. No, let's see your straight. Come on. And that's how Matt Cartney organised this unusual match between the Savage Rockers Football Club and Peace and Harmony FC, a game that promised two very different styles of play. Oh. And you can guess which team's going to play like a bunch of savages. Here he oh, comes, there. Keep your eye on the ball. Oh, the hippies started their own peculiar preparations for the match. Man, I love looking after the grass, and daisies are a perfect union of nature and color. I love it. Okay, good roll. Ha! Ah! It's yours, good roll. Stay away. Oh. Oh. Obla do, Obla don't. What are you doing? We're meditating, Nirvana. That's right, Joe, mm. meditating. Mm. So do you mind telling me why you're not training, Obla do? You said we had to concentrate today. Mm. And this is the best form of concentration there is. The football's a symbol of our struggle. Well, it symbolises their struggle to win, if that's how they're going to train. Now, I want to practice some direct free kicks. Creating a wall was the favourite pastime of the Peace and Harmony Club. Love, love Peace and Harmony, Harmony brother Joe. We say love, love Peace and Harmony. Joe, no kick hard. Go in, no get hurt. <laughs> All we ask is for you to shoot in peace, brother. <laughs> ah! Why not join us in the wall, brother Nirvana? Well, cut out the violence of those shots, they can damage your karma, man. Right, yeah, I'd rather stay on my own, you don't get hurt. You're right, I should join the Wall of Peace with my brothers and sisters. We don't need the football as long as we have each other in the Wall of Peace, Love and Harmony, right? Hey! Peace, Love, love and harmony. harmony! Everything was set for a game that promised to be very interesting and colourful. Uncle Will! Uncle McCarthy, I'm here! I'm here and I want to play in the game! I want to play, Uncle Will. Let me play, like... Hey! Ah. Let Give me kick oh. ball! I really like your guitar, man. I dig the hairstyle, man. It's just like mine. We should get together and play a bit, you and me. Do you two lads know each other, then? Paul McCorner, John Lemon. Lemon and McCorner. Those names sound familiar. But you can't play football with your hair dangling all over your eyes like that, lads. Come on, get it cut, then you'll be able to see ball. No, no way, way, man. We, we like, like it like this. this. We're fed up with people saying that we have to cut out her. Ho, ho! No! <laughs> hey, come on, where does the ball go, Ack? Right to you, Paulie. On your head, mucker. On the head, but I can't see the... Well, they do sing better than they play football. Now, uh, come on, lads. You'll have to get rid of those chains if you want to play in this game, laddie. Things like that are dangerous. But they're all rage, man. Aye, but you're not allowed to wear anything that might be dangerous either to you or your opponents. I'm sorry, lads, but it's in the rules of the game. Spikes, watches, bracelets, spurs, sunglasses, pointy boots, belts. In order to play, you must take all of that off. Now, go on. What? And me ring? Me girlfriend gave me that. It's special, like... The ring too tutti fruity, that could be dangerous. I want all dangerous objects dumped here right now. That wasn't the only problem Matt Carton had to resolve. Among the rockers in the stands were the throwing stones, led by the outrageous lip wagger. Oh, I ain't got no satisfaction, so let's throw some rocks and get some action. Trouble brewing? Yeah. There's no game without good clean play. Now we'll see. Hey, hey. That's not very sporting. 
Steele, it's nice to see the Throwing Stones getting a smash hit. Years later, these lads formed a hugely successful band that rivaled the one John and Paul would form, the we Beagles. Play play we play to win, but we accept defeat. Ah! What's that? The new Arsenal away strip? No, hold it! I'm sorry, lads, I can't let you play football dressed like that. Why not, man? We're all in harmonious colors, aren't we? Crikey, what's wrong with our groovy gear, man? Tuck your shirt in, Herman, lad, and pull up those socks. In order to play the game of football, you must wear the same kit. A jersey or shirt, shorts, socks, shin pads and boots. It's in the rules of the game. And if you must wear long johns, don't, they should be the same color huh? as your shorts. So get changed. And then we can start the game. And how are we all going to dress in the same colour, Mr Referee Man? You can see what we've got on, right? No problem. My new automatic washing machine will wash your clothes before you can say offside track. Come on, lads, put them in. <laughs> Inventions like the washing machine that made daily life easier were very popular in the 60s. Well, popular with some people. Hey, hey, what happened to all the colours, man? They're gone. Whites for squares, oh. man. Yeah, and look what you did to my clothes. They've all shrunk. I oh. look ridiculous. If the cartoonists don't colour these in, there won't be a game, right? All right, I'll check it with colour director. See what you can do, eh? Right, who? Oh, 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 Mac Cartney had to solve various problems concerning the player's equipment. And he had to sort it out right from the start. I will not tolerate any dirty play, Rockabilly. I didn't do anything, Mac Cartney. I suppose he might have caught me shin pad. At Just school. a minute. Even I know you're not allowed shin pads with spikes in. Huh? Oh, Bladoo, come huh? back on the field when huh? your shirt's in perfect condition. Right. Ah. I'm ready to come back. You can only return when the ball's out of play, lad, like, oh. well, like it is now. Oh. And you may only return yeah. to the field when the referee has made sure everything is correct. And now I see that it is, you can go ahead and join the rest of your team. You like bright colours, don't you? Look up there, the hey, rainbow. wow, the united colours of nature, man. What are you trampling on all them flowers for? I thought you were supposed to love nature. Oh, no, I'm trampling on nature's flowers. <laughs> I suppose you want the ball, do you? Au contraire, I just want to be left alone in peace and harmony. There's no need for any fuss or bother. Go in peace, friend. And you go in pieces. Try this on for the harmony. Yeah! Hey, what the for the Savage Rockers. I can't see them finding a way back, Whack. Hey, the Peace and Harmony players are sure to make a comeback. It's only 1-0, so don't be such a pessimist, Paulie. I'm not a pessimist, John. It's me air. I can't see a thing. Hey, half-time. We're on. Fab. And now your half-time show, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Beagle. Run of play And the seconds are ticking away But now we've won a corner We've got to get an equal that's the kind of music to please, please me and the crowd. It makes you want to twist and shout. You can't wear that kit, Herman. You're in goal. I thought if I was dressed like everyone else, I might go unnoticed. A goalkeeper must wear colours different to the rest of the team and the referees. It's in the rules of the game, lad, so go and get changed, will you? Let's get on with it, shall we? Oh. A goalkeeper can wear tracksuit bottoms, a cap to keep the sun out of his eyes, and although it's not required, gloves to protect his hands from the ball when it's cold and to get a good grip on it. With both teams suitably equipped, thanks to my ancestor, Mac Cartney, the second hey. half passed in good humour, hey. with clean Yours. play allowing the Peace and Harmony Football Club to claw Yours. back the one-goal deficit. Go oh. it! Yay! Yay! Very nice goal! Very nice harmony! <laughs> they still had a lot to learn, though, like not taking the shots off to celebrate a goal. The end of the game was reached peacefully and ended in a harmonious tie.
Well done. Thanks, ref. Well done. What about us being famous rock stars, Billy? Yeah, we wanted that trophy. Your reward, gentlemen, is that you learned how to participate in a spirit of fair play. Now, don't go and spoil what's been a good game, lad. We don't have a problem with that. To tie is to share, I say, and your music is nearly as good as ours, I suppose. <laughs> Let's try this piece of harmony, Malarkey. Yeah, why not? Let's try and get on together, man. Far out. Right. Jolly diving fuck! The play to win. Hey, that's go groovy, go man. Go that's go really go good. If you're fat or thin. Piece of harmony, it's madness. Now, let's paint the towel. <laughs> so your ancestor managed to get everything in harmony. Aye, and I see you're admiring my pop art, make a collection of paintings and sculptures from the 60s. It's art from the psychedelic age, you might say. They're quite unique. You Call this rubbish art? My little nephew could do better than that. I mean, each to his trade, I grant you, but I... Whoa! On the other hand, I can see why you might fall for it. Oh, all right, Mick, that's enough clowning around. Now, let's review the rules and equipment that Matt Carton established. Now then, we start with the basic kit. All players are required to wear the following. Jersey or shirt, shorts, socks, shin pads and boots. They're not permitted to wear anything considered dangerous to themselves or others. Shin pads must be completely covered by socks and be of an appropriate material. Players' equipment, and especially the studs on the boots, to be checked before the game and before any substitutions. What happens if both teams wear the same colours, though, Matt? You can't have 22 players in red running around. Well, that's already been thought of, lad. The away team will use their second strip if the first strip should clash with the home team, and that strip must be of a different colour. Depending on the competition they're playing in, shirts can have a number and player's name on the back, a team emblem, and may also include the logo of a sponsor. I'd better go back or they'll be closing the late edition. Bye! Ah! <laughs> All the colours of the rainbow and I end up covered in black ink. Isn't that just typical of my luck? The Cold War was that historical period in which the two great tactical schools of football, the defensive and the offensive, were constantly fighting each other. In the next episode, there'll be spies, secret tactics, intrigue and conspiracy. Yeah, that doesn't sound like fair play. And we'll also give you some tips on how to improve your ball control. And you'll learn about various team formations. So, for top secret information on techniques and tactics, Run down the touchline and aim for goal. We'll see you in the next episode of Football Story. Be sure to be there. Hey, it's time to sing the fair play song, Mac. Sure, Mac, Daddy-o. Go ahead. I'm hip to the groove. I'm cool, man. Really cool. <laughs>